Hi guys, uh, welcome back. Today we are going over the Vivo, Vivo, 2000 watt motor kit. That's a uh, 48 volt. So let's uh, see what's inside. All right. All right, so we have our motor controller. Our motor. A throttle. Some instructions. Don't need those. And some tools and hardware. So the kit comes with uh, the motor, the controller, some throttles, some hardware, but it does not come with a, a battery pack. For that, we went with uh, the, the Wire Wire Yeti? The Yeti battery pack. And this is uh, a 20 amp hour, 48 volt lithium pack. So now that we have all of our stuff, now we gotta connect it all together. It seems pretty all straightforward. There's a uh, this five pin. That has to go, I'm assuming, with this smashed up five pin. Looks like somebody was eating it. it. Still fits together, but the clip is all broken on it. All right, so that seems okay. And then, oh, we have these five wires here. The yellow, green, and blue go to these guys. And these go to our battery. And our battery pack did come with this uh, connector and uh, one of these adapters. So what we'll probably do is cut the ends off here, solder that in there, and then we might end up just replacing these with bullet connectors. All right, so uh, we swapped out all the the eye lit connectors with these barrel connectors on both ends, and then swapped over the um, the the connectors over here with the one that matches the battery. So at this point, we can start hooking up our uh, our wires here. So we'll go blue to blue. E green to green and yellow to yellow and then rehook up this block so that takes care of our motor then now we have coming off of our throttle here we have a, a three pin and a two pin so let's look up. Well, we have turn handle, assuming that's throttle. So let's go with that one. So red is red, black and black, green to gray, so that looks fine. And then the other one has two wires. And it is yellow and white. Do we have a yellow and white? We do not. So that's. Pink. I'm assuming this is electric door lock. Maybe. Let's try it. All 
All right, now we can hook up our, just make sure our key is off, and hook up our battery here. Turn our key on. All right, so we have full, full charge. Let's try it out. Seems. Well, that actually uh, was much easier and more straightforward than I really would have guessed. Yeah, some of the labels are uh, not right, or I shouldn't say not right. They're just not legible or spelt funny. But um, yeah, is it necessary to swap over the connectors? No, I just, I don't know, I like barrel connectors, so that's what I use. But um, so that's, that's it for wiring up uh, the throttle on this. We do want to run lights off of this, so we're going to start probing some of these and find out which have 12 volts. Indicator lamp has 54 volts. The lamp has 4.5. We might be able to use that one. Break. 4.5, charge port is at 54, back a car, 4.5, but we might just be able to run off one of these guys. So we'll uh, just keep playing around with uh, wires here till we figure out a combination that works for our LED lighting. For the actual motor kit, it seems pretty straightforward, uh, wiring all the connectors and um, how well is it going to hold up? I don't know, we'll throw it in a machine, but the initial setup on it I would say is pretty easy. So hopefully you guys like this and uh, if you found it helpful, like and subscribe. But until next time, take care.